Hello everyone, welcome again to another series of video from uh, Electronics Eternity. So in this uh, video I will be covering about uh, BMS uh, module. So this is a 3S BMS module and uh, as, as you all may know it, it's, it's for LiPo, right? So since there's already so many videos about it, so I'm, I'm not going to do a step-by-step -step video, just, just cover some, you know, some useful uh, tips and hacks that I explored while while doing this. So just hoping that it will be useful for you as well. Okay. So uh, briefly about the module. So uh, this this module uh, needs to have uh, three LiPo batteries in series connection, uh, so that it can uh, it can work as as described in in some of the configurations. As uh, even when you are purchasing this, there's already some schematics shown to you right so uh, just be sure to follow that uh, i've arranged this particular uh, lipo batteries in 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 this manner so this this is the uh, this is the so-called schematics right so uh, one thing i learned while doing this uh, you need to note that uh, probably different bms would have different uh, over voltage protection. I noticed that for this particular uh, BMS, it doesn't the, it doesn't charge beyond uh, three point seven volts, right? Which is uh, quite weird. Uh, I I thought the charging would go up to four point two volts for for each and every LiPo batteries, but uh, for this, I have tried out and uh, I've tested for a few times. I noticed that the charging does not exit 3.7. That means when the battery voltage level hits 3.7 volt, it does not exceed any more than that, right? So different BMS system might have different over voltage protection. So just uh, be sure to check out uh, your BMS uh, module by you know doing trial and error and see how it behaves, right? And uh, also for uh, power in right uh, also it's it's recommended to use 12 volt since you are since uh, three uh, three lipo batteries usually would amount to 12 volt right somewhere around 12 volt so if you use a charging uh, power which is too low then the charging will take a lot longer uh, another one point the input current is uh, you don't have to, to you don't have to worry too much about your input current because the regulator kind of regulates that for you as well. As you can see, I'm using another three uh, another three uh, lipo batteries, which which can give up to you know 4.8 amps, right? Given that the highest draw of current, but uh, it's still doing its job and and, uh, and the board is is not roasted, right? So that means it's still working and it's uh, there's a current protection and I, I think it only draws a safe amount of current so you don't have to be overly bothered about what input current that you're putting in right and uh, uh, secondly what can I say so sorry thirdly so what's uh, another useful trick that I have is you can use this uh, this voltage display modules and uh, you know to make your job easy while while charging so for example this is at 10 volt and also you can simply hook up a voltmeter to every one of these batteries you can either use this to hook up to every single batteries that you have or you can just uh, use this to measure all three volts right right and uh, at the same time you can also use your voltmeter to get reading across a single lipo or all three at once right so uh, while charging instead of uh, you know measuring it one by one every single time you can simply hook up one of these to each cell so that you know how does the charging works what is the behavior how does it regulate when one battery is when one battery's voltage is more than the other right so you can simply use this right so I've covered about input voltage and input current I also covered how we can check if your charging is going as it should be and how you can incorporate voltmeter uh, what else so i think uh, nothing else apart from that just be sure to hook up uh, the bms connection 
uh, correctly in series or else this will not work right so uh, good luck trying don't forget to like and subscribe thank you guys